The tower is my home. I helped build it with my own hands. I bled to protect its walls from outsiders, only to have its existence threatened by my closest friend, my brother in arms, the one who stood by my side as we protected the very walls we built together. The twisted irony of it all is that I should have seen it coming. I should have noticed the distaste he had for the city. I should have observed his behavior with the speakers' private lessons. I should have realized what he was turning into, but I was blinded by our friendship. I was blind to what Osiris was capable of, but now I see what must be done. Fascinating. So that's what they were looking for. What is it? Hmm? Oh, it's you. Nice to hear I still exist to you. No, it's not that. Just surprised to see you. Anyhow, look at this. What am I looking at? Looks like red squiggly lines to me. It's what's behind those lines. This is the war mind thinking, and the red. I think it's what Osiris wants. It's golden age tech. Lord Timur discovered it centuries ago. It's called SIVA. SIVA? What is that? SIVA is a biomass technology. With it, you could theoretically create anything. Or destroy anything. Arceus? How long have you been there? Long enough to know that Osiris isn't up to any good. Had your time to sulk? Too much, it seems. What did Vespia want? We're needed on Venus. Saint-14 has gone missing. Join the club. This SIVA lead is interesting. Could be useful for future study. Didn't you say that the war mines were only part of the puzzle? Yes, and it looks like he has all of the pieces. I think I know where he's headed. The Black Garden. Why would he go there? That place is evil. It's the cornerstone of Vex operations. No one has been there since Pujari. I know, I know, but the Vex presence is strong there. Perhaps with the right team you can push through. I believe Osiris has cultivated the war mines to gain an advantage against the Vex. It's been said that even the Vex were terrified of the war mines. They were too advanced, too unpredictable. This Siva was the key Osiris needed to break through. So that means after he makes it through the garden, he'll head to the Vault of Glass and start his terrible plan. For what purpose, we don't know. But the framework is here. We don't have time or the resources to focus on Siva now. But you know who does? The Iron Lords. They can track down Siva and make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I'll contact them. Good. We should hurry then. For the first time, we are two steps ahead of Osiris. Yes, and he won't see us coming. Saint-14, wake up! <gasps> Vespia, is that you? Yes, it's me. Thank the Traveler I found you. What happened here? I... I fought Osiris. And I lost. <sighs> then it is just as I feared. Osiris is stronger than us all. I... I don't understand. Vespia, I thought I could stop him. I thought I could bring him home. He doesn't want to come home. Whatever he has done to make himself more powerful has stripped him of the light. He still must be defeated if we are to avoid war. I know, but I blame myself. I've had my hand in this for much longer than you have. What do you mean? Unbeknownst to you, Osiris was my disciple as well as the Speaker's. He was to be my prodigy, the one to take over for me when I was gone. I taught him skills useful for all warlocks, but I also instilled in him my aspirations. He wanted too much, too fast, and I saw myself in him, but... Only the bad, the 
deadly ambition, a poisonous pride, the quest to seek out the truth no matter the cost. In the end, I was glad the speaker banished him to save me the trouble of taking things into my own hands. I didn't know that. You weren't supposed to. We warlocks are a secretive type, but our secrecy has had consequences. It's time for the veil to be lifted, for us to finish this fight. Are we prepared? Where are the others? Andal and a few guardians are setting up a perimeter. The missing guardian, Arceus, has been found, and his fire team is heading here as we speak. Good. Then you are right. It is time we end this. Why here, of all places? What? Nothing. Keep going. They are waiting for us. Took you long enough. What did you do? Get a sandwich along the way? It took us a while to find a way for me to fit inside the ship with Aravan. Like a sardine can? God, I wish I had seen that. But, wait, why didn't you just take your own ship? His ghost died on the moon. Oh, that's right. I heard about that. No ghost, huh? Well, as long as you don't die, you can still fight. Oh, I plan to. Where's Saint-14? Did you find him? Vespia found him. She's patching him up like the little sissy he is, tumbling 40 stories down a raging waterfall. Come on. I've suffered through worse than that before breakfast. By the way, did you guys hear about my feats in the Cosmodrome? Not gonna lie, I was magnificent. If you say so, look, we should really meet Saint-14. We have a lot to discuss. You gonna tell me why you're looking at me? I know you. I should hope so. We've had some fun times together. Like the last time, when you got me killed. Whoa, Jakarta. She's a friend. Chill out before things get ugly. She's no friend of mine. I'm here for Vespia, not you. Remember that backstabber? Backstabber! Kidnap! Murder! Spy! Back up! She Traitor. needs space! Backstabber. What did you do to her? I didn't do anything, but bad memories are hard to repress. Who are you? I'm a Traitor. member of Vespia's Backstabber. hidden agents. But don't question me. Ask her. Get out of here, Jakarta! Go to Vespia and tell her they're here and just leave! Fine. But I wasn't lying. Sooner or later, she's gonna backstab you like the traitor she is. Fucking asshole. Sierra, come back to me. You can't lose your memory again. Not again. I'm here for you. So this is what a reset looks like? Not like this. Hers are violent. I've been there one too many times. Sierra, please. Do... Do you know who I am? Yes, I remember. I'm still 117. I don't know if that is a good or a bad thing. <sighs> Neither do I. Are we good then? Is everything okay? I'm far from okay. I'm going to go after her. It's time she knows. Jeez, that was intense. You don't know the half of it. They have quite the history. I can imagine. Well, while those two lovebirds over there are settling things... What's on your mind, Atticus? It's Arceus. Whatever. You seem stressed, and since I'm the Vanguard leader, it's my duty to... Blah, 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 feelings, blah, blah, stress relief, blah, blah, make sure Guardians aren't feeling too overwhelmed saving the galaxy. Basically, I'm your HR department. Hmm. I don't know if I did the right thing. Elaborate, Adrian? It's Arceus. Back on the moon, I rejected my old fire team. 
I was part of the Osiris cult. I gladly fought by their side, but I felt like I betrayed them. I know what Osiris is doing is fundamentally wrong, but I can't help feeling like I should still be with them. You're conflicted. I get that, Abraham. Look, this war, conflict, whatever we're doing here, it's just temporary. Guardians might have our grievances, but we all know that the real fight's out there. What I'm saying is, we're all theoretically on the same side, no matter what stripes we decide to wear. You were chosen by the Light. That makes you a Guardian. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, the fact that you lost your ghost means you should really focus on what matters. That's protecting Earth. Thank you, Andal. I feel much less confused now. Really? Usually when I talk to people, they feel the complete opposite. <laughs> Goes to show even an old dog can learn new tricks, I guess. Now, if you excuse me, Alejandro, I have to go make a really uncomfortable call to Anna Bray about cashing in a favor. Yes, we've been here before, together. You know me, don't you? You knew who I was before I became this. Before I couldn't remember. I tried to protect you. Protect me from what? From yourself, Sierra. You're right. I knew who you were, and you knew me. Not just as Erevan, but as something more. My memories are coming back, slowly. It's all jumbled up. We were together once, you and I. You found me 90 years ago. I was a new guardian. I could barely fight my way through the Fallen when you came and saved me. Sierra 16, then. A respectable number for an Exo. You showed me the ropes, taught me how to fight, and gave me a home. I don't... You don't remember. That's fine. It was a lifetime ago. As time went on, you and I became closer. Together we grew stronger, flew further, but it wasn't meant to last. You had your first wipe with me. I was there when you lost all of your memories of the times we had shared together. At first, I wasn't too concerned. I took this as an opportunity to fall in love with you all over again. For a time, we were happy, but you began to reset more often. The memory loss progressed. It was only every few years you reset. Then it became months to a few weeks until eventually days. You could barely hang on to a new number before becoming a completely new person with no knowledge of anything. We searched for a remedy. I poured through books after books, but to no avail. Sometime around your 80s, you decided to leave. You thought it was for the best. For a time, I thought I could convince myself that I was okay with that. That I could deal with our separation. If it would make you happy, but I couldn't. I had to see you again. That only made you more angry and more prone to a wipe. Erevan, I didn't... No, it was for the best. 
we discovered that the further away you were from me, the longer you could hold on to yourself. Obsidian was ordered by you not to mention me again when you reset. I kept my distance, but I also kept tabs on you. During our separation, you joined Vespia's hidden agency. You traveled behind enemy lines, experienced gruesome things, met people like that scum, Jakarta. I'm remembering more. I... I did some things I'm not proud of. I know. We all have. What I'm saying, Sierra, is that I'm the cause of your resets. After this mission, I'm leaving. It's too much of a risk. I force you to forget about everything. That's not true, Irvin. Back on the moon, I had another episode. Your name was the only thing that brought me back, the only thing that kept me focused. If you leave now, I... I don't know what will happen. Sierra, I don't understand. Neither do I. But I know you're not the cause of this, not entirely. We tried everything before. We've been through this a hundred times. I've... I've lost hope. That's why, when we were introduced, I tried my best to ignore you, to treat you so horribly you wouldn't risk trying to get to know me. It didn't work. No matter what, I think we're supposed to be together. Destiny is a funny thing. Talking to you has cleared my mind. I can remember far better than I have in years. It won't last. It doesn't have to. What matters is this moment. I know it might be temporary, but this is what I need right now. To live in the moment and not worry about the future. We've come here before, haven't we? It was our spot to escape all the pain of losing your memory. It's a beautiful view. Almost like the lies you told to protect me. Maybe that's what I needed. A beautiful lie to cover up an unpleasant truth. For what it's worth, Sierra. I did love you. That part was never a lie. I know, Irvin. I know. Anna, we've got a message. From who? Andal. Ugh, what does he want? He says he wants to pull in another favor. I already gave him one. In fact, he owes me. I know, and I told him. He says he'll double it. <sighs> Fine. What does he want? Andal needs us on Venus. Something about backup on a raid of Osiris forces. Sounds doable, I guess. But what's in it for us? He says we can get first pick of the loot. First loot. Alright, I'm game. Get the other hunters ready. Sure thing. What are you looking at this old thing for? It became useless after we killed the Cabal squad here. I just... I, I'm worried, Malcolm. The Cabal are not like the other forces that came to destroy us. In fact, they scare me more than the Fallen, Vex, or Hive ever could. Why them? Because they're... <laughs> They're more like us than any other alien race, Malcolm. They can plan, they can organize, they can stall. And when we kick them down, they just keep getting right back up. Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> I know, I know I sound crazy. But I feel like something big is coming from the Cabal. Maybe not now, but soon. <laughs> well, this map might be useful. My granddad never liked maps. And why's that? He said it's because maps end, and the universe doesn't work that way. Clovis Bray was an idiot. A genius, but also an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I can't argue against that. So it is decided. We attack at dawn. 
with the intention of assassinating Osiris before this war gets out of hand. I hate to kill my old friend, but it has to be done. Osiris has become too much of a figurehead. I'd rather him a martyr than a dictator. You, sir, are a ray of sunshine. Well, see you in the morning. Are you sure you still want to go through with this? Honestly, I'm not sure of anything anymore. But I know what must be done in order for Earth to remain safe. Friend of yours? No, we just met. Hasn't even bought me chocolates yet. Well, that's a shame. Are we ready to move? Ask him. He doesn't tell me anything anymore. I have noticed you've been distraught since your fight with Arceus. What of it? I'm just making sure that your thoughts don't lead the heresy like his did. Your loyalty to that cause hasn't wavered, has it, Oros? Let me remind you that you are still under my command, even if Osiris is using our resources. I do not condone betrayal. Wouldn't dream of it, Oros. But if you are disloyal to the Sunbreaker's oath to Osiris, well, let's just say that you haven't been third Imperial Magistrate for long. What news do you have, hey bye? Sir, I received a report that said Saint-14 has survived and is coming to assassinate you. Typical. I show him mercy and he betrays me. What else? The Rangers, a group of elite vanguard hunters, are also coming in as support. Do you know their location? Yes, Osiris. Then end them. Take Oros with you. I'm sure she has grievances with the Rangers as well. With all due respect, sir, I feel we should leave Oros out of this fight. And why is that? She seems distracted. She may get herself wounded like her last failure. Hmm. Careful not to choke on your ambitions, hey bye. Fine. Take care of them by yourself. Then meet back here for our final preparations. Yes, Osiris. All the pieces are falling into place. All I'm saying is that I change my cloak once a month. That's not too excessive. Uh, yeah, Malcolm, I don't know about that. I mean, do you even clean it, or...? No one ever cleans it. That gives it character. Wait, hold on. What? This is the place you chose to rendezvous with the other hunters, right? Yeah. Then, why aren't they here? Hmm. Naomi? Tevis? You guys read? It's a trap! Get out of here! I've heard about you. How's that sister of yours doing? You... you killed him! Well, isn't that obvious? And now I'm going to kill you. 